Hi everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Melanie Newman and of course this is baby Frankie and if you have been following her little grooming journey today we are going to give her a full clip so we're going to take a little bit of length of her body and we are going to start with the bath so her owner has told me that she's still a little bit frightened of the bath so sometimes gets the shakes a little bit but then comes good so we'll pop her straight in the bath good girl so pop the water on gently. So she is around 21 weeks now, so she's almost um, a good three months. So she's definitely a lot bigger from her last grooming appointment. Good girl. And then just start with her back. So we are using our puppy shampoo. So it's rose chamomile and calendula and it is formulated for puppies so it is really super gentle. Okay guys so this is her second bath with me. We have already um, documented her first bath and drying so we'll pop the link up for you guys to watch that but at the moment I'm just shampooing her body her mum has told me that she's still very nervous to have water over her head so I'm definitely going to do that last like with all my grooming tutorials but I'm going to shampoo her twice and condition her once. I'm going to use a little washcloth to help with um, just distributing the water over her head so it's nice and gentle for her. Okay, so I have rinsed off all her shampoo and I think she did pretty well with the water running over her head so she'll get better over time. So every groom, I'll just increase the time that I'm spending with the nozzle on low and the water flowing over her head so eventually it won't really bother her. Good girl. So now we are going to condition her and I'm using our puppy conditioner and conditioning a puppy's coat is so so important oh, because this is where she's going to start changing her coat so she's going to start getting her adult coat coming through so we really need to nourish and moisturize her skin and her coat so i'm going to give her a really really good condition Okay, so while I leave the conditioner on her body for a couple of minutes, so she doesn't get cold, I've just warmed up the little um, washcloth and pop that over her back so she stays nice and warm. And then I'm going to work the conditioner into her little face and give her just a nice little massage. And I believe it is super important when we do have a dog that is a little bit frightened about their face being washed or their paws being um, scissored or their nails being done, it's a good idea to create a positive experience. So that's why I'd like to spend a little bit more time on her little face, giving her little massages and making her feel super comfortable because that's going to help for future grooming sessions and trimming her face, bathing, drying, all those types of grooming um, techniques around her little face. Good girl. Okie dokie, so I have fully rinsed her, so she has no more product left in her coat and I'm going to towel dry her and then I'm going to take her to our drying area and dry her with one of our stand dryers and then we are going to give her her full clip. Good girl. Okie dokie, so she is out of the bath. I've towel dried her as much as I possibly can so there's no dripping water off of her so it's going to be, be a lot easier to dry her with the stand dryer and she's going to dry a lot faster. So the, mo the 
The least amount of time with the dryer on for a puppy for me is really super important. So I'm going to pop on her happy hoodie, which she knows because she uses one at home. But before that, I'm going to spray her coat with the puppy coat conditioning spray. So this will help just rehydrate her coat. And then when we're drying her, I'm going to brush her at the same time. So it's going to help remove any little knots and tangles caused by the bath. So that's okay. I like to show all the puppies. Is that okay? Good girl. Just a light spritz. Good girl. And then we'll pop on her little happy hoodie. Show her. And then pop that over her little ears. So this just acts as like little ear muffs. So helps reduce the amount of the dryer sound affecting her little ears. Okay, so before I turn the dryer on, I always make sure I've got my hand on her so she's not going to, um, you know, be frightened and quickly move when the dryers start. So pop that on low. Good girl. Pop the heat on. Good girl. with the protective pins I'm just gently going to brush through her coat okay so she is completely dry I'm hoping that she's not free but to double check We'll just take our little comb through her. And I think she's doing really well for her first time with the big dog dryer. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Okay, so her mum would like her still to be really cute and fluffy. So still have that puppy look about her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, these are, the Joy Z clipper. So they have all different lengths on the blade and we can just slide our snap-on attachment comb, which she loves the smell of. Who is it? <laughs> um, we can just slide that across onto our blade and this will determine the length on her body. So I'm choosing this clipper because it is really quiet and I do prefer to use a really quiet clipper on a puppy, especially when it's their first haircut. So this will leave a little bit more than an inch of coat left on her body. So we'll see how she goes when I turn the clipper on. And if I turn it on, <laughs> a little bit of a different reaction and I'm not going to actually clip her body yet but just get her familiar with the sound and the feel of it. She's very kissy and very licky so she has to lick everything. So just running the clipper along her back to start with because this is the area we're going to clip first. Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to flip it around. Touch your hair, good girl. She seems okay, like I'm pretty surprised. Good girl. Okay, so I've popped our blade onto a Pen size and I'm going to clip out her little private area which she hasn't had done before but she seems pretty good with it and that 
it'll just keep her nice and clean and tidy when she goes to the toilet. She had a little tangle at the back of her back legs and if I had to brush that out, it might have hurt her. So I didn't want to do that. So last time we just scissored it, but this time we're going to try and clip it, still on the number 10 blade. And I'm going to pop it back on a 30 blade. And I'm going to see how she goes with me clipping her little pads. And she's not too bad, so I just want to introduce that part of the grooming process. I always prefer to grind down nails after they've been trimmed. It just takes that sharp edge off and um, especially with um, puppies because they're jumping all over the owner, the back of the legs. So it just helps um, make those rough edges nice and smooth. Okay, so I've clipped her body. So now I'm going to scissor in her little paws and still keep them nice and cute and round. So that cute little puppy look and then brush everything or comb everything up and any little bits sticking out, I'm just going to scissor off. And I like to go a little bit shorter where her collar goes so no real knot sort of form and it's easier for her mum to brush at home. So I like to scissor those areas in. And I prefer to use my thinning scissors because it just gives a lot more like a softer appearance and a softer expression. So when I'm trimming her little face, I still like to keep that puppy sort of expression and try and keep these little curls um, in her little head. So, so I'm just going to use some blenders just to trim her fringe. She's doing pretty well. Ah, 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 good girl. And just comb it forward again. We'll just comb it to where it's going to sit naturally. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to lift her little ear and just reduce all this bulk here. So that cheek area. So coming up from her jaw and scissoring towards her ear canal. A lot of puppies don't really like this, so I'm quite surprised that she's, she's so well behaved. Because of the noise, it is a sound that they're not used to, but she seems to be okay. And then use our thinners. And this will just help blend in and give it a more natural look and as a coat's falling, it actually makes it look nice and smooth and I like to, the appearance to look like that it's natural and the coat sort of hasn't been over trimmed and no scissor marks. Oh good girl. Sometimes they're good for one side but not the other side. Oh I spoke too soon. She is a little bit more sensitive on this side. So she is teething, so it might have something to do with that. We don't want to over trim her muzzle either. 
So I like to just go through with my thinners and just trim off anything that's sort of hanging over and out. We don't want to take off any of those baby curls. And what we want to do is just blend in the top of her skull. So I like to go shorter towards the start of the ear and just let the hair blend into that ear naturally. And I'm still using my thinners because this will give the most um, natural and blended appearance. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with her little face. It doesn't need much, just enough so over the next month her fringe isn't going to grow over her eyes. So keeping that nice and clean and making sure the top of her skull is nice and even and blending in from our transition line into the back of our, um, like our skull into our neck area. And this is a time where we need to sort of figure out where her ear starts to what hair we are taking off because we don't want to take off the hair on her ears because then it's going to take longer to grow. So just take off small amounts at a time and see how it sits. Okay, so her first big girl haircut is all done and she's pretty tired. So she's been yawning a lot and she hasn't had any snacks. So that could be another reason why she's feeling a bit bored. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of puppy cologne on her. So just a whisper of cologne to help freshen up that coat. And gently comb it through. Okay, so she's pretty happy with her trim. So if you're not aware, every month we film her little grooming journey. So we will follow step by step of what we do every month with her. So if you would like to follow Frankie's grooming journey, definitely subscribe to our channel and hit the bell because then you'll be notified. And until next time guys, happy grooming.